Today we celebrate the feast of the Holy Family of Joseph and Mary and Jesus. The Church celebrates this great feast to teach us that Jesus lived and that he grew up in a real human family. And uh, the Holy Family of Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, it serves as a model or an example for all of us in how we should live in our own families. And he was obedient to them. That is a very profound thought, that where you have God, Jesus, obedient to his mother and foster father, whom he created, that God is obedient to the people that he created. It's an act of great condescension and humility, and humility, and it should teach all of us about that in our own lives. I looked up the meaning of the word obedient because it says Jesus was obedient. What's that mean? I looked it up. It has a Latin root, and it means this. It means to listen to someone who has authority over you and then to comply with what they ask of you. To listen to someone who has authority over you and then to comply with what they ask of you. Many times we only associate obedience with children. The children should be obedient to their parents. Of course, that's true. But we don't typically associate it with adults. If I had to say what is the major problem in modern society, you know what I would label it as? A lack of obedience to the law of God. That adults are disobedient to God's law. And as a matter of fact, we are so disobedient that we even pass laws in our legislatures which are defiant in the face of Almighty God's law. We defy His law out of disobedience to Him, disobedience. Christ Himself was obedient, and we should be obedient as well to the law of God the Father. I also looked up the word family, because today is the Feast of the Holy Family, so I looked up family. Family comes from the Latin as well. It comes from the Latin word famulus, F-A-M-U-L-U-S, famulus. You know what it means? It means servant. It's a beautiful thought to see a family as servants of each other, willing to sacrifice themselves out of love for each other without counting the cost. If you see your family as a group of servants, without reserve, holding back nothing, serving one for the other, you will, you will relate to each other a different than before. The Holy Family was without sin. They committed no personal sin. They should serve as a model for us, an example. Obviously, our families will never be without sin totally, but it is a good model or an example that all of us should try to approach. 